Do you want a better Africa? Believe it or not, for Africa to change, the way religion is delivered must change. Churches should stop preaching about miracles and breakthroughs. Popular preaching such as sowing a seed or, give and it shall be given unto you, have been misinterpreted for personal gain. No wonder pastors of today are so rich and yet the whole congregation and people around them remain poor. We are stuck with a generation of Africans who act as if God is the rewarder of laziness and poverty. The message churches send is that it is possible to reap where you did not sow, meaning you can get something out of nothing. Why should a child chose to learn the hard way if there is an easier way? The live for today attitude does not create wealth and people die without living any legacy. You then sit and wonder why Africa is the way it is today? The gospel of prosperity should be shamed and work around the fact that laziness can never reap real success. Christianity has played a very big role to the fall of Africa today, but that is not what it is intended for. Spreading messages of instant success have led to a generation of people who are thirsty for instant results, immediate relief, and effortless profit. The messages should not just focus of tithing and sowing seed, blessings, miracles, breakthroughs, and wonders. Churches should stop glorifying riches acquired through miraculous sources, stop preaching fear and stop focusing on what the devil or witches did, does, or will do. Instead they should preach positive news and focus on messages that add value to the communities such as hard work, creativity, dedication, commitment, perseverance, and responsibility. Pastors can promote good community initiatives such as cleaning the surroundings, and encourage creativity and innovation. Instead of waiting for our governments to do what they do not do, we can start helping ourselves, through humanism. The brother who becomes a millionaire by simply sowing a seed, does not help build a better community, and the message of such success should not be spread and showcased. Instead the applause should go to someone who has succeeded by hard work and perseverance. Start preaching the gospel of working hard, produce goods and services, planning, critical thinking analysis, strategy, visibility plans, system building, market and customer analysis, and the process involved in production of goods and services. This is how novel people and wealth is created. Rushing a sick person to church for prayers does not prevent that person from dying, but correct medication and treatment will. Haven't you wondered why people in Africa still died of Ebola despite prayers? Preach the real word of God instead. You do not need the pastor's blessings to create wealth in life. Wealth and clean cities don't come by miracle or magic. Religious superstitions, such as the shout of, I receive it, and the loudest shout of, Amen, is not enough to fulfill your wishes. True religion and true Christianity must, and can only, produce productive youth. For Africa to be globally competitive, education alone is not enough, we need to nature creativity, innovation, and good governance. What is an engineering degree doing if you cannot even produce a water pump? Ask yourself a question, what have other people created with a similar qualification other than just looking for a job? Please, be slow to anger, slow to judge, quick to listen and try to understand. If not for you, do it for your children.